Good evening. This is Lansky of Android Studio channel at YouTube. Today I'm going to discuss, uh, as promised before, the steps in adding AdMob banner in Android Studio without using AdMob activity template. In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to add an AdMob banner uh, uh, using the AdMob activity template, which, which is already a predefined template for adding AdMob. So it's a Google AdMob activity template wherein the first time you create your app, you immediately choose the AdMob activity template so that you are able to uh, create an AdMob banner without the hassles of adding each requirement or each step in the AdMob uh, banner process of adding the, uh, adding the ad. Uh, banner below or in the upper part of your app however there are instances where, where you have already developed or created your app and you have decided later to add an ad map banner into your app so this calls for you to go through each of the steps in adding the ad map banner if you choose that method of monetizing your app so here i'll show you how I'll discuss first each steps uh, in this presentation and then we'll go to Android Studio to perform those steps. So the first one is you add the following to your Android manifest.xml. So the first is to add two types of permissions, internet and access network state permissions into your Android manifest. And the next is to add the activity, uh, config changes, and team code also inside your Android manifest.xml. So this is the code for it, this one. And next is the activity having the add activity, config changes, and team code into your .xml file. And the next one, uh, this is the part which most programmers most Android programmers forget to do, that is why uh, they generate an error, is they have to open their build.gradle file and add Google Play Services dependency, which is required by AdMob. As of now, the latest is 9.2.0, so uh, that's compiled and we have, it's enclosed in a single quotation here, com.google.android.gms, then colon play dash services dash ads colon 9.2.0 actually this number could change to a lower version or higher version depending on you or depending on if you prepare the higher version so the next is step number three create your banner ad id string resource so so that you would be just calling the string name and you can substitute any any uh, admob id here uh, this admob id here is the test admob id at uh, provided by uh, admob uh, actually you can create your own admob id by logging in into your admob account i also have a video for that so you just uh, watch my other videos in in this Android Studio channel, and you can uh, you will be able to get an an understanding on how to generate this one. So for the meantime, you can use this for your test ads, and then you add the banner ad to the XML layout. So this is it. This is the code for your banner layout, and then sorry. After that, you import in your activity.java or whatever the name of your activity.java file, the add request and add view. So it's import uh, com.google.android.gms.adds.addRequest. Uh, it's the same syntax except for the dot last dot 
it's that add request and that add view so the last step is to put the code to load the ad into add map banner view so if your view is named add view in this case it's inside the on create method you put the add mod, uh, you put the code to load the ad into add map banner view inside the on create method so this is the code for this you create and assign an add view variable to the add view or add view your add view here is the one that's on your xml layout so it's here actually this could change depending on how you named your banner ad and then you create an add request variable and instantiate it so here you have you created this add request variable and then you instantiated it here and then you load the add to the add view using the add view variable it's here by passing to its load add method this is the load add method the add request variable so here you have your add request variable which you created here and you passed it as a parameter to the load add method so let's try this one let's create an empty empty uh, activity in admab and try to do it in code so let's go to our android studio so let's close this one let's create a new one let's name it admab from scratch coding so we have it here so let just click next and just proceed with the default uh, default choices here and you choose empty activity here and click next so that's it you have your main activity or let's name it uh, add mob activity or add mob banner activity so that's it your layout name is add mob i act oh sorry activity underscore add mob underscore banner so click finish so android studio creates the files for you So Gradle uh, is building. Okay, you have here a very basic Adma banner that activity Java. So the first step is inside your Android manifest that XML. So so we add the permissions. So it's Android permission that internet. and another permission it's access network state okay so the first half of the first step is done and the next is let's just see the code it's a little bit tricky on adding the activity we have it here so we have it here the uh, code to add Actually, I'll be putting this in the uh, I have put this in the description of this video, so you can just go to the description, or I also have shared this slide at SlideShare. I'll also put a link to that in my description, so you can feel free to just see the description so that you can see uh, the exact code. Uh, for now, let's try uh, do this in demo mode so here let's add it here okay so you may you might be thinking that there's an error but actually uh, this red here red arrow here would not show if we have uh, made the first step of the second step as the first step which is to add a dependency to our build that grader grader so let's go to the second step to remove this error 
we're finished with the first step so the second step is to add the dependency on our build.gradle file so let's get this one let's copy it and then go to your build.gradle and add that dependency there and then sync your uh, gradle files and go back to your manifest you can see that the error would disappear so it's now in green so let's save our work and the next step is to create your banner add id string resource so let's just copy this one okay so go to your string resources it's here and add add this one and as i have told you before you can always change this value here to the one to the id of your admob app so that the correct uh ads will display coming uh so that your uh the ads that would be generated inside your live app it's if it's already published would earn revenue for you do not use this one for the live one but for testing purposes use this one do not you use your live ad map id so we're now finished with the third uh, with the third step we now add our banner code to our xml layout let's add it to our layout now so here's our layout here so let's delete this one go to your uh, text view of the code so let's paste it and then what's this namespace adds is not bound so what happened here so let's just ignore this for now maybe it's dependent on our next uh, part of the uh, maybe we have to import the uh, necessary functions at our uh, that, uh, that Java activity so the fifth step is to import add request and add view so let's just copy this one go to our dot java and add the necessary imports okay let's see if it's still an error okay what's this it's still not getting green light let's ignore it for now and go to the last steps uh to put uh to put the code to load the ad so let's get this okay copy go to our that java file so inside the on create let's add the necessary code this is the add view variable which is con uh, tied up to this name of our layout for the add it's here you see it here and so it's tied up here to this variable and then let's create and instantiate the add request variable copy and then let's load the add Okay, let's save this one and let's check so let me check this one I think we have to add something here uh, this is a very important part of the code the, we add the XMLNS it's a namespace code it's an it's a schema for android.com so I think I have not included it in my uh, in my slide share, but 
uh, as you can see just remember it here I'll pu be putting this in the description you add this one to your layout uh, it's necessary for the ads code here to work so as you can see you have ADS here and you have AD ADS here if you add that the error here in your banner XML code would disappear so that's it uh, just keep watching my videos and let's learn together uh, doing Android Studio Coding. Thank you and bye-bye.